Hi everyone, Victor is here. Today I'd like to show you what is in my uh, backpack in terms of uh, art materials that I am uh, carrying around uh, as my portal, uh, portable uh, studio. So this is uh, Sakura sketchbook. I keep this uh, package uh, information just to keep reference. Uh, it has 80 pages. Um, the paper is uh, quite thick, 140 grams per square meter. It's acid free. The color of the paper is uh, not uh, full white, it's a bit yellowish. I started it recently. Here is a semi-abstract, semi-figurative uh, sketch. Here is like a um, daily journal or a visual uh, journal, sketching uh, like um, comic strips. I used here a fountain pen with a waterproof ink and after that I colored it in with a, a watercolor. Here I did the sketch but I haven't mentioned, managed to color in. Here I used the gouache uh, mixed with uh, colored pencils. So uh, next items, I'm carrying uh, these uh, tubes of uh, gouache just uh, in case. I haven't used them uh, yet. I'm using them to fill in uh, my palette. So these uh, are from PBO, it's a set of uh, these uh, gouache paints. I'm uh, going to use them when I uh, will have to in this uh, palette. Here uh, uh, the paints actually are uh, Windsor & Newton, they are uh, uh, very good quality. Uh, they are uh, reactivated quite uh, fast if I put a little bit of water. Uh, compared to other cheaper um, brands that uh, were harder to activate later when they dried up, these uh, are like uh, watercolor. I uh, used uh, them here just as washes like watercolor. I haven't used a very uh, thick layer of uh, gouache like acrylic or oils. I used them just like um, uh, watercolor. They are quite opaque. If we put white they uh, get uh, quite uh, opaque. These are Posca pens, acrylic markers. Uh, also I uh, intend to use them um, uh, as mixed media on top of uh, uh, gouache uh, layer. Uh, just to add some details and uh, to add uh, some accents of color. I keep them in this uh, zipper bag uh, just to keep them organized and uh, it's quite uh, uh, nice to have them in transparent uh, bags to see what's in them. Especially this bag is useful uh, for this palette uh, because uh, if there is excess of water it can uh, get out and uh, get uh, dirty your bag. So it's uh, practical to keep them in these uh, bags. Another item is uh, this uh, foldable uh, cup for uh, water. I'm carrying around a little bottle of uh, water. 250 milliliters, not too large, to not uh, get my bag uh, too heavy. Another 
item is this pouch or like a case where I'm holding my brushes so I found this uh, actually I uh, I'm taking this with me because I need to hold my brushes uh, in a place not to damage the the hairs of the brushes these are da vinci brushes made of uh, synthetic uh, fibers they are very good uh, with watercolor and also with uh, gouache uh, so i keep them here safe and they don't uh, if i put them in a regular uh, case uh, i might damage the hair of the of the brushes here also i have uh, 12 pencils calendar um, carandash uh, luminance they are very vibrant and uh, very uh, saturated colors actually here i used uh, in this sketch i used uh, on top of uh, gouache uh, layer I uh, added details and uh, um, small details uh, with uh, these uh, colorful uh, pencils. I think they are the best uh, uh, colored pencil pencils I've ever used. They are a little bit uh, more expensive than other pencils, but uh, they worth the money. Uh, here are. Um, these crayons from Karandash, they are water soluble. I haven't used uh, them uh, yet in a sketch, but I'm carrying in case uh, I might mix um, uh, with gouache or uh, pencils. So these uh, items stay fit in here. Another item uh, are tissues and this. Uh, case where I uh, hold uh, this spray bottle to activate uh, gouache or to soak on the paper. Another item is this portable um, uh, palette watercolor. I have uh, here uh, six colors, two blues, two reds, two yellows and uh, is very convenient uh, when uh, traveling or uh, when uh, you want to set up uh, sketching uh, in a very minimalistic way. Another item, these two clamps to hold the sketchbook open. This is a Tombow uh, eraser very um, small tip to erase uh, details sepia fine liner mechanical pencil fine liner uh, rotring 03 and thicker one not a uh, less thick 02 this is a brush pen this is container uh, filled in with uh, ink. This is a very fine tip uh, brush. A regular eraser. A pencil, a 14B, very dark and soft pencil, an HB from Faber and Castle. This. Um, this is a sharpener uh, with uh, this container to collect uh, the shaving of the pencil and uh, this eraser on the other uh, hand. Very convenient to have this too. And I have um, these uh, graphite leads of 0, 0 0.5. One is HB and uh, 
the other one is to be so I tend to carry with me more uh, hard materials than I actually use but uh, at least there are some options if uh, something uh, comes up uh, an idea where uh, I want to use them it, it's quite heavy to have all these uh, materials thank you for watching bye